Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 13 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, I am going to set up the React front end and uh, we will see which things we require to uh, create a front end in React. Okay, so till now we have uh, created uh, lots of APIs for order, uh, product categories, right we have seen the review and rating we have seen lots of things okay so it, it, it doesn't mean that backend is uh, completed but uh, what i'm thinking let's complete this project along with the front end right so let's start the front end so first of all what what you need to do so before uh, here i am in the backend okay so let's keep the backend running i'll go i'll create a new terminal right and i'll run this command npx create react app front end right so this command will create the front end but how this command will work first of all you have to install you have to install this should be npx not npm okay so you have to install node.js right so first of all you have to install node.js you can install node.js via you will just simply search you will just simply add download node.js right if you click on this you can download node.js according to your os so my current os is linux so I have downloaded uh, I have downloaded the installer here you can see that 16 60 bit 64 bit sorry and then I have extracted and installed so after installing that it default come with the npm node package manager and npx is a node package execute right so it will directly execute this command this will create the app it will create the app according to whatever the things are required so when we run this command right when you run this command then it will create the folder this will create a, this folder front end and in front end we have you can see that node modules package.json package log public readme and source so mainly we will work in source this public is let me show you when we uh, after running this it will create this pro it will create this folder right so after creating this folder how you will start this project so first of all you will go to that folder you will go to that folder then you will simply run npm start okay so it will open the browser right so it will open the browser with the react app so i'll go to here it will give us a url right it will give us a port with the local host url and you can see that this is showing everything so this page is coming from app.js so if i go to source and here we have app.js right in the app.js we have logo uh, we are importing css right and this is the code that we have written here if you change this it will change here don't no need to refresh this page it will automatically change the content right you just need to save this let me show you suppose this is here and I have add here updated updated page so it will show here updated page see that okay now <coughs> our app is running right if you follow uh, if you uh, follow proper process then you will easily install node.js and then you will easily install the uh, easily install the react.js so if i go to the react.js so this is the standard uh, you know official website and if you go to the documentation you can just simply uh, learn about that right so here you can see that this tutorial before you start setup for the tutorial this is the starter code 
right so they they are explaining everything everything you need they are explaining here okay so if i go to create a new react app so when starting react project this will the best option learn react so everything they are providing right so for react you need node.js right and uh, after installing the node.js you can simply run this command npx npx create react app and then app name okay i will write the command in the description so that you will see all right so <coughs> this is running on this uh, this is running on here right so you can just simply edit this page right edit this page and try to try to run the app so it will be it should work perfectly on your browser right so in our next step we will we will create the home page and then we will add the uh, we will create home page according to our features in the home page we have had our latest projects uh, popular categories popular projects popular seller footer we will design all of these things okay so we will design all of this these things so i will we will use the bootstrap framework this is css framework and very popular framework right so we will use bootstrap latest version this is the latest version 5.2 and uh, we will use some custom css also right so let's add this bootstrap and uh, view this that how it will show right so how we can add this so this is the download if you go here example package manager you can just simply add npm install bootstrap right if you want to install anything you can install via npm okay npm install bootstrap here you are okay so this will install bootstrap all right so bootstrap is installed now what you need to do you need to import bootstrap from let's add here npm start and in the app js i'll say no need for this bootstrap from bootstrap and okay let me show you add bootstrap in react js you will find this link this is very useful link so after installing that you just simply need to do this import okay bootstrap.css now let's edit this page so i'll remove everything all right and then i'll add container can you see that this class name actually this is by default this class if you are writing html css but if you are in react js then you have to add this class and this camel case things right so here i have added a uh, class name container so if you are working in react there are a few things that we need to remember right so let's say this is simple app in react js and bootstrap all right so let's run this all right then we have here oh what is this close all okay so here you can see that this is simple app and it is coming in container so it means bootstrap is added right all right so we are ready to create our home page and all of the things right so if i go to the bootstrap here and let's go to docs and if i search here nav bar all right so let's see container all right and here we have a nav bar 
you can see that but we need some kind of a different nav bar like uh, mm, let me show you okay this can work we will remove the search all right so we'll copy this and paste it here all right so what we need to do we need to indent it properly and we will replace this class name with class name right this right if i go here in the browser okay so it is saying error compiling code expecting okay so one more thing it is expecting the closing tag so we have to add closing tag here in the input right actually we don't need the form all right so here you can see that but we need this in a no need in the container so we'll add here menu as it is all right so what we need to do else uh, okay so we need this full but menu should be in the container right and let's say bg dark and this will be nav bar dark all right so this is our nav bar one more thing m start auto so it will push the menu to right side okay so for better understanding you can explore the bootstrap right we are uh, the mainly my focus is mainly on this project and uh, with the you know react js and django okay but if you want to learn about the bootstrap you can also uh, you can also uh, do some research here okay and uh, i will I, I will try to best to explain you everything whatever we are doing but if you stuck anywhere then you can follow the documentation right I will provide every link whatever we are using in the description right okay so here we have hidden brand so we'll say we'll say uh, Django marketplace or we can say Python marketplace okay so Python marketplace and let's add BG success okay uh, let's add warning no danger no let's add check here button button tags button group basic example button tags okay so here we have a button and these are the colors right so actually these are the default colors you can use it for button you can use it for background right so now so we are using danger so it is showing red color all right let's use scandry it is showing this kind of color uh, let's say success okay this is fine this is look like not django but similar to that okay and uh, remove this disable link home let's say categories right and this is active so that it is showing like this let's remove this active all right so this is our header right so now we have created i'm just creating the basic things we will implement lots of things along with the way right so header then latest projects in the next step in the next video i mean we will create the latest project system or maybe we will complete the home page okay so in this video we have learned that how we can create the react app right and uh, how we can set up this 
right so we will do other uh, more uh, other things okay we will uh, set up our project properly right and i just explained you that how we will work in react js how we will install the package and how we will use that right so i hope you are enjoying this series you learned lots of things from this series from this channel from this video okay and uh, if you are learning then please subscribe this channel like this video share this video right and you can also i'm also uploading all the videos on facebook so you can also follow me there and you can follow the instagram page and uh, if you are really like my videos you can donate you can donate some amount on paypal uh, or you can purchase purchase some projects from uh, projectsplaza.com right so thank you so much for watching this video let's meet in the next video thank you